All right, this is something different. Here's the, uh, I guess, uh, King Emirate. Train there. Abu Dhabi. All right. Welcome to Abu Dhabi. Ooh, kicking up dust, that van. Yes, I'm in the desert biosphere again. First time in 25 years, something like that. See, wow, look at it out here. This is amazing. Yeah, super cool. What's going on right now? We're under the Arabian sun. We're on a camel farm, of all things. Uh, very different than being in Yerevan, Armenia. <laughs> nice guy over there. Wow. desert biome. I'm in a different biosphere now than I've been in a long time. This is the Arabian Desert. Sand dunes. Out here in UAE. I'm hoping there's no scorpions. The guy says there's no snakes. Sorry about the wind. All right, doing it, it is. Beautiful out there. Look at that. Arabian sun. So we're at this desert oasis with Mahmoud in the Al Khatib Al Khatib Desert, UAE. And this is Arabic coffee. I don't know what makes a difference. Ooh. My adrenaline's going a little bit. I'm ooh, a little bit. <laughs> ooh, after that riding. Okay, that's all right. We'll drink a second. It's very hot. <coughs> this is crazy. I'm gonna go sandboarding, man. Uh, it's California skateboarding, snowboarding, sandboarding. I know how to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> All right. Arabian desert fashion. We got the camels going. We're in our desert oasis where we see 10,000 10, YouTubers come do this kind of thing. Now we're doing it. <laughs> 
but what I didn't know they had is sandboarding, which I'm going up there and trying. Here we go. Whoa, sorry about the wind. That's how it is out here. It feels good in the heat. So in places like Western China, Gansu Corridor, Xinjiang, the Silk Road, the routes of gold from the Sahara Desert up into the Mediterranean. And definitely here in the Arabian Desert, these were the work horses of the desert. They got armies and goods and people across dangerous landscapes because of their amazing adaptation to the desert. Somehow, oh, that was it. All right, here we go. We're going down. Camel ride. craziest thing about this is 60 years ago 70 years ago there was nothing out. some caravan of someone probably rolled through here it's from the um umayyad caliphate or something or the uh you know mongols uh, maybe not the mongols alexander the great i don't know if he came this way actually no he didn't maybe maybe the romans emperor trajan came out this way one time and uh, it was the largest extent of the Roman Empire. He got to the seas of the Persian Gulf and Emperor Trajan said, if only I was younger, I would keep going and conquer India and then China. <laughs> but he was not that young. He actually died only a couple years after that. He turned back instead of going on ships across to India. He was here. The settlement is as it is now. It's only about 60 years old, that's it. Where we're hanging out with a bunch of international people sandboarding, riding camels, drinking plastic water bottles, <laughs> about to eat some food, I think. Ah, oh, man, what is this world? We better enjoy it now while we can. That's it. <laughs>
Abu Dhabi. Now, this is something. I feel like I'm in some futuristic movie or something. I'm a big history guy. I'm a big environmental and nature guy. But I admit, I like this too. Oh, the water looks beautiful right here with the lights. They had some crazy light show thing that was going on and just stopped. Probably don't do it at nighttime. <sighs> oh well, let's walk back to Chicken Buck. Then home. You're gonna, then I get the film. We went inside some it. dumb bar. Uh, it was fun. It had good live music. Filipino people were nice. The Indian guys that worked the front were nice. It was just... Some unsavory things going on inside there, but you know, you can't hate. You're, Don't hate. You're gonna have to pass out the Pizza Hut Junior and the KFC before you get to Bok Bok Chicken. No. Oh.